What is up guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video guys, what we'll be doing is going over some simple and easy retakes that you can start using in Fortnite Chapter 3. I know that a lot of content creators out there love to make retake tutorials with absurdly difficult or outright useless techniques, but you know we don't roll like that around here. So that's why I'll be focusing solely on retakes that are easy to learn for multiple skill levels and also have applications in the real game. Before we get into the retakes though, be sure to drop a like if the video helps you out, consider subscribing if you want to see more, and finally consider using code TECHO in the Fortnite that item shop if you want to help your boy out a bit extra. As always, it's 100% free for you and it really does help me out a ton. But with that said and without further ado, let's get into today's video. All right, guys, so hop in here into retake number one and we've got a medium level retake for beginners. It's not super easy where every single player in the entire world is going to be able to get it right away, but it is fairly easy where you're going to be able to get it for the most part. Like it might take a little bit of practice, but this is a really useful retake that I personally enjoy using even as a pretty advanced player. So with that said, the way this retake is going to start off, just like pretty much every other retake, it's going to start with the scissor ramp so you just want to have one ramp above you and one below you just like this so when we reach the top of one of these ramps what we're going to do is basically just wrap walls around us just like this so you basically have a wall behind the ramp and then all around here so you kind of go in this motion then you're going to place a ramp and a cone above you from there what we're going to do is we're going to jump out to the side we're going to place a cone and we're going to catch ourselves with a wall and ramp so from here guys you have a few different options the first option you have is to simply side jump up so you can like build a wall like that or you could do that and also if you don't quite have the timing down for the elevated side jump what you can do is you can just jump straight out and catch yourself on a floor like this and then you just go up like that so basically you can place this ramp above you and the one below you and finally guys the last option and what i would say is the simplest is simply to edit one corner catch yourself with a floor and then you can basically go up and do 90s or anything you want so with that said guys if you are advanced enough to do it i would recommend and then you do the elevated side jump just like this because it does get you up the highest the fastest but i know a lot of you guys aren't quite at that level yet so i wanted to show those other two variations just to kind of give you guys some other options that you can kind of use so with that said guys i'm going to go ahead and show you guys the retake in slow motion So as you guys saw in that slow motion clip, I did do the elevated side jump and that is my preference for this retake, but it's completely up to you guys if you want to do something different like the other two I showed or even something else if you can think of it. That's obviously perfectly fine. But with that said, let's get on to retake number two. Alrighty guys, so I know retake number one may have seemed a little bit hard to some of you guys, but don't worry as retake number two is pretty much going to be as simple as it gets for high ground retakes. This is pretty much just going to be one move followed by whatever you want to do. So it's super easy. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so basically for this retake, you want to have, obviously you're going to want to be ramping up like a scissor ramp and what you're going to want to do is basically place a floor and a cone above you just like this and then all you got to do with this floor and cone is simply just edit two sides of each so you can either edit it on the left or the right side it really doesn't matter at all obviously that's the direction you're going to be going in but which exact one you do doesn't really matter so from here guys all you're going to do is you're going to run up here and basically you're going to place a ramp then you're going to place a floor, then you're going to place a ramp, then you're going to jump onto it. So preferably that's going to look really smooth. Like you're going to want to go up here and you're going to be running through the whole thing. And then from there, guys, all you got to do is you got to edit through this floor and come up here and pretty much you can do whatever you want. So you can do like some protected 90s maybe, or you can just do some regular 90s. Or if you're like me and you like the simple stuff, just do like a 180. Or your other option is to do this and basically just take it into a whole nother retake. Like, okay, I just completely messed that up, but you get the gist. Basically, you can even like use it as a combo of retakes, but this is kind of like the fun fundamental retake that I think everyone should know. It's a pretty simple retake. It shouldn't take you guys very long to learn it as long as you have like that fundamental level of like mechanical skill. But yeah, this is a really good retake to know for pretty much all players. And hopefully this kind of fulfills the beginner retakes from the title. I know that some of these retakes might be a little bit difficult, but I think this one should be very manageable. So with that said, guys, let's roll this retake in slow motion. But yeah, guys, overall, super simple retake right there. It's pretty effective as well. Like if you're going against somebody who's like competent at the game, but not like absurdly pro level, like not going to be jumping all over you from all angles, that should be a pretty solid retake, especially as a starting point if you're a beginner. So hopefully that retake helps out. Alrighty, guys. So getting into retake number three, though, and this is what I like to call the protected 180. This is a move that I personally came up with actually a very, very long time ago, like sometime early in chapter two. And I think I did show it on a video or two back then, but it still is a really useful move, especially if you're more of a beginner level this move isn't so much like a full retake on its own but it's something you do to kind of go into a retake i guess you can technically use it as its own retake as it does get you height pretty quickly and kind of confuses your opponent but typically i'd like to string something after it so with that said guys all you're gonna have to do for this retake is literally just be on a ramp and basically what we're doing is we are just going up 
and spamming a ton of walls. So preferably you want to get all of these walls here. You want to get basically just wrapped around completely. And preferably you're also going to want to block off the side that your opponent is on. So if you think they're on this side, obviously blocking off all these walls is really good. It's really, really hard to get every single wall and do it. As you can see, I just made an absolute mess. So yeah, I've noticed that pretty much the most consistent way is just to do it like that. And from here, guys, once you have the 180 built, you can pretty much do whatever. So what most players are typically going to do after doing this 180 is they're just going to edit through and do some 90s. I'm still managed to mess up those 90s, but you get the gist of that. Or some people also like to kind of go out the side and just crank 90s from there. Or finally, some people like to just simply go out here and kind of continue retakes from there. So they kind of just cone off and do like kind of the ramp catch that we did on the first retake. And you can even kind of follow that up with like the elevated side jump if you're pretty advanced or pretty much any other retake combo but yeah guys pretty much the main thing that i'm showing you here the main quote-unquote retake that we're doing is really just this 180 move it's super well protected and honestly it works really really well like i'm telling you guys there's some beauty and simplicity in this game man like the moves that look the simplest they look like absolutely anybody can do them they just look pretty stupid are super effective super well covered and they're just great i mean if you actually look at this 180 it's pretty much completely covered like unless your opponent is over here which in that situation obviously you're not going to open yourself up to the side pretty much everywhere is really well covered and you can pretty much set yourself up for an amazing retake of height like if you look at this retake from an opponent's perspective it's really really hard to counter this because you're pretty much built all over and even if your opponent does try to like start spraying you or whatever like you're going to be way out of the box by then and you'll pretty much be building up so really guys this retake especially if you're pretty close to your opponent and they're kind of like one or two layers above you it's going to confuse them they're not going to be able to get through it and overall it's just an amazing retake that you can use to pretty much string into other retakes and help take height Alrighty, guys so getting into retake number four we've got another retake that's really pretty easy to learn and is really effective i'm not quite sure if i have shown this retake in a video before because it is really really familiar to me but at the same time i don't want to say i have or i haven't but if i have and you saw the other video then congratulations you've seen it twice if you haven't seen the other video then don't worry about it because obviously it's your first time seeing it but with that said guys basically what this retake is going to be is we're going to start off by doing a thwaifo cone so if you don't know what a thwaifo cone is it's basically a way of retake taking that is really protected and basically it's just like this the thwaifo cone as the name kind of implies was created by a player named thwaifo who was really big back in the day i don't think he plays the game anymore but he's an absolute legend in the fortnite scene so basically guys all it is is just like this you wrap walls around behind you and you place a cone up top so before you do this retake you're definitely going to want to learn that kind of do it on both sides it does take a little bit to learn if you're not as skilled mechanically but it is pretty simple it'll be pretty easy to get used to so with that said guys you go ahead and start off with the thwaifo cone either direction and pretty much all we're doing from here is similar to another retake we did is pretty much we're just doing the ramp floor ramp trick and we're jumping up on here so this is pretty much just retake number two except it's coming off of a thwaifo cone instead of coming off of a uh, double edit and from here guys after you do the ramp floor ramp jump pretty much you can do whatever you want so you can do some 90s you can do 180 or whatever you want to do but yeah guys that is the essence of this retake so the biggest issue that most players are going to have with this retake is simply learning the thwaifo cone but this move is so useful in so many different situations like i could genuinely make this its own retake if i wanted to like honestly guys it is actually pretty darn effective to literally just go and like thwaifo cone height and then just like all of a sudden start cranking 90s and like jump on them with other retakes or whatever but yeah guys even if you don't know the thwaifo cone yet it is a really useful move that you're going to be using a lot if you do a lot of build fights so i do strongly recommend that you try it out and kind of get the hang of it but once you do learn it you can do this retake and you can do many others but with that said guys i'm going to go ahead and show you guys this retake in slow motion But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for retake number four. Alrighty, guys, so getting into our fifth and final retake of this video, and this one's actually going to involve our third retake. So if you remember the kind of protected 180 retake that we did for, I think, the third retake it was. All right, I just checked, and it was the third retake. So it's pretty much that, but with some extra steps. So what you're going to do for this retake, guys, is you're going to be ramping up like normal, and what you're going to do is you're going to do a 180, and you're going to reach out with a cone like this. So essentially, all we're doing here is just a regular 180 degree turn, and what we're doing is we're extending our ramp out by one and placing a cone on top so super simple stuff there literally just do a 180 and put a cone up so from there guys what we're going to do is we're instantly going to turn around and do the full protected 180 with all the walls and from here obviously just like normal you can do pretty much anything you want you can go out to this side and kind of build up or you can do like straight through here and just do some 90s or whatever you want to do basically just finish off the retake so once again guys it's going to look like this you're going to do this 180 and then you're instantly going to do the protected 180 as well so the reason i like this so much is because we're starting in this direction 
direction, right? And we do this 180 and we turn around and that basically puts us in the same direction, but three layers higher. So one of the main reasons that I like this retake so much is because it pretty much sends you in the same exact direction while kind of confusing your opponent and they don't know where you're going. Because obviously when you start off the retake, they think you're going this way and you're going to like go up there or whatever, but then you instantly just turn around on them and then you go out through here and do some like 90s or whatever and it can really get them confused and it puts you way above while still going in the same exact direction. So overall guys, this retake is absolutely fantastic and let's take a look at it in slow motion. And I want to reiterate one more time, guys, that there are plenty of options for this retake. Personally, I like to just go out and do some 90s, maybe some protected 90s, as you saw in the slow motion clip. But you can also go out to this side and do some 90s or 180 or whatever you want to do, really. Or if you want to be extra fancy about it, you can even try to, like, edit through here and, like, continue going out the same layer. That's a lot harder. That's really, like, nobody that would consider themselves beginner would really be able to do that, at least on a consistent basis. But with that said, guys, it's a really, really good retake, and I absolutely recommend you learn that after learning number three. But with that said, guys, that's going to do it for all the retakes but with all that said guys that's going to wrap it up for today's video hopefully with a bit of practice you should be able to get most of these retakes down and be able to use them to improve your mechanics and use them in fights to hopefully outplay more players if this video helped you out then be sure to drop a like on it and consider subscribing as well if you want to see more content just like this in the future and finally consider using code tech in the item shop if you want to help out a bit extra as always it's completely free for you and it really does help me out a bunch but with that said thank you all for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now